Well, there you go, guys. Just shows you it's running fine, just on one burner now, and uh, I've got the throttle back so the steam doesn't all race through at once. It's a bit warm. I'll just turn it back a bit. Show you. Ooh, it's a bit, a bit hot. This. She's running good. She's running real good. She does run better with two burners, so I'm going to make up a, a double outlet burner, or I might even modify this spare one I've got and uh, just put two spouts out of it and then I can have them just going in on like a V, you know. I haven't put any water in it for a while, so... I'm going to run one for a while. Oh, it is big enough. I was a bit worried it was too small, but no, it doesn't need that. It doesn't need that other burner. Definitely one of these two. Just can't quite hold it otherwise. Yeah, you can see it picking up revs again. Yeah. Thanks to Alan in the UK for the materials to make the boiler up. It's great of him to send me that. That's home cast aluminium. That's a steel flywheel, scrap pipe, homemade burners. You can do all this stuff. You know, if you've got a mini, a small lathe, that's all you need. You don't need anything fancy or big. And I don't, I don't have a mill or anything. You get it all with a forge or chuck placed all that metal up and uh, it shows you what you can do. Okay, well that's it from me. It shows you the light at the tunnel isn't always a train coming the other way. <laughs> you can actually get some success. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it all, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Cheers.